Dude, okay, shut up. You're saying that the pharmaceutical companies created cancer in order to thin out the herd so they could raise their prices while lowering their output and overall costs. Totally. I mean, think about it. No! That. You're retarded. Yeah, what about skin cancer? Doesn't exist. All those weak-ass cancers that don't kill people are a ploy to keep us from asking too many questions. The doctors are totally in on it. And why would the doctors be totally in on it? Listen, the doctors prescribe it so that when the patient lives, they look good. Plus, they get to fill out their prescriptions, which keeps their quotas up. Quotas. Quotas. You know, dude, my grandma had skin cancer. It was a terrible ordeal that scarred her for life physically and emotionally. Your grandmother should sue. Your grandmother should sue. If I have to listen to one more of Gil's theories, I swear to God I'm gonna kill myself. What are you looking at? The chick at the bar is totally checking you out. What? No, she isn't. I'm serious, you should go talk to her. Why are you always trying to get me to hit on women or way out of my league? What is it with you? I mean, where would I even start? I don't know, gauge the situation. Okay, in all the years we've known each other, what makes you think I can gauge anything when it comes to attractive women? She's not that attractive. Well, then why would I hit on her? Because a person shouldn't turn up their nose at dirty water when they've been wandering the desert for as long as you have. No, no, no way. Unemployed men do not just approach women at the bar. I mean, I would literally have nothing to say to her. I don't know, talk to her the way you talk to me. Yeah, that's really gonna work. Hey baby, happened to catch that episode of The Next Generation last night? Sure was sad, Morph's girlfriend died. Is that the one where Alexander comes to live with him? No, that's like season four. Well, we talk about way more than that anyway. DS9? You two milks talking about Star Trek again? No. Huh. We're talking about how Chris is a pussy and has now lost his chance with the chick at the bar. <laughs> By the looks of that guy, I think I'll still have plenty of chances. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, like, you know, we're gonna be nuts deep in guys like that at the convention this weekend. Uh, what convention? Me and Beth are hitting up the Star Trek convention that's coming to town. Seriously? I keep telling you guys, that thing is a total cult. En masse brainwashing to distract the people from what's really going on up in space. Gil, Gil, Gil. Shut up a minute. Star Trek convention. You ever seen pictures of these things, man? They're like, A, 50% women. B, all the dudes look like Chubby Charlie over there. If you and me rolled up in there, we'd be like the creme de la creme for every half-naked, green hottie, too self-conscious to go find an actual man. We'd be like nerd gods to those bitches. Exactly my point. Guys, we're in. You know this thing costs money, right? Uh. Oh wait, how the hell are you going? Unemployment check. Gonna burn ass through that. You're still getting those? I thought you haven't been working for years. Yeah, man, I keep telling you guys, it's so easy to get money for doing sweet F.A. in this city. Just go in there and ask. Just don't mention my name. All right.
right, let me do the talk. No, oh, hi, hi. Uh, listen, uh, I heard from uh, from a little bird that uh, this was the number to call if you were looking for some of that. Uh, oh, what's it called? Free money. What did they say? Shut up a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Really? Because uh, our friend Chris. Chris Carson. Told, oh yeah, yeah. Chris Carson told us that. Hmm. Oh, sure. Uh, K-A-R-Z-E-N. Yeah, that's the one. Chris Carson told us that uh, you guys just uh, hand that shit out for free. Is that not... Okay, can I level with you? Um, me and my buddy uh, are just... Really just looking for some money. You know, just for doing dick. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, yeah, Chris, he's actually coming in later in the day. Yeah, today. Okay. All right. Okay, you too. Okay, bye. That went about as well as we could have expected it to go. Oh, oh god, no. How did, ah! uh, how, how do these things keep getting in here, man? I don't know. I thought we called the exterminators. Jesus. Oh, hey, it's Chris. What the hell? Hey, man, what's the haps? How did you get in here? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, your door was open. Yeah, no, it's a self-locking door. Oh. Right, right. Uh, dude, your window was open. Yeah, no, right, right. I live on the 10th floor. Huh. And I have no idea how we got in here. You assholes got my unemployment cut off. Nah, man. You're totally wrong about that place. Just a bunch of uptight assholes like the rest of the world. You gave them my name. And you said you wanted money for doing dick. Oh no, crazy. She remembered that? She wrote it down. <laughs> she actually wrote it down? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's not awesome. I had nothing in unemployment, and now I just have nothing. You two idiots somehow made my terrible life even terribler. Oh, but hey, guy, how are we gonna go to that convention? Uh, hey, I don't know. Why do you think I'm so mad? Come on, guys. There's gotta be a way that three smart, charismatic guys like us can make some money without pimping ourselves out to the mad. What's up, my homies? Oh, Beth. Mm hmm? You like having sex, right? You know it. Hey, Beth, do you want a beer? Wait, how do you... Now this is gonna be easy. There's no way I'm doing this, guys. It's not going to work. It's gonna work. It's been working since, like, the dawn of time. That's a load of bullshit, I Prostitution was invented by the Nixon administration to help distance people from the Soviets. Shut, Shut up, up Gil. Gil. This is ethical. I don't like this any more than you do, but sometimes what has to be done has to be done. You want to go to this convention just as much as the rest of us. Sometimes that means doing this shot, going out there, and scoring yourself a job. This sucks. Any one of us would be doing the exact same thing for you if the tables were turned. Then why aren't you? S stop complicating the plan, Beth. Just go out there, find a guy you'd sleep with normally for free, and just charge him for it. We'll be here at headquarters doing the exact same thing. It's just different because we have to let the foxes come to us. Yeah, but... But, but... Come on, Beth. It's not like you haven't slept with half the city anyway. What's one more gonna do? It's not gonna hurt, it's gonna help. It's gonna help us. It's gonna help us get laid at a Star Trek convention. He really is only big for this. We certainly do. Go ahead, drink this. Perfect, and this. Mm. And this. 
I really don't think I need another shot. Yeah, I know it's a Do you know how many chemicals are in that thing? It's bad enough that I have to do this, but it's yeast and get all okay. of it. It's good. We're good. We're all good. We're all good here. Great. You're, good. You're, You're doing, doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. Stop. Do it. You're a champ. Such a frustration, cause head vibrations, chronic masturbation. One thing's for certain, such a sensation has brought down a nation, caused masturbation. Both of my arms I wanna put around you. Coco scented candles, a light goes beside you. Let you go and hide before I come and find you. Something deep and hard I wanna put inside you. Well, if it isn't Mr. Right. Excuse me? No excuses necessary, handsome. So, listen, what's your story? Oh, I'm, just, I'm just here with a couple of friends, you know, waiting for a drink, the usual. Mm, fascinating. Yeah. You idiots don't really think you can pull this off, do you? Oh, man, you kidding? Drunk chick getting laid in this bar? It's gonna be like shooting milks in a barrel. <laughs> so are you... Loving that? Sure, you know I am. <laughs> Listen, what's your deal? Are you with a girl or what? No, I'm just here with a couple of friends and- Oh! What would it be? A, a price? You know, like a ranking, but with cash. Um, I really don't know. Uh, come on, don't be such a milk. Tell me how much I'm worth to you. I don't, I don't understand. Listen, I, I don't, I'm a million bucks. <gasps> really? Everyone only listen to me. This is going to work, okay? It's gonna work because we believe it. That was easy. You, my friend? are gonna find I am worth every penny. And by this time on Saturday, the three of us are gonna be elbow deep in all the sweet green nerd bitches. So one of the fucks is coming over. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> you have a good time last night? Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe. More importantly, did you have a good time last night? Oh yeah, girl. With every penny. Speaking of every pennies, what do you say we settle up? Settle up? What do you mean by that? You know, settle up. Wait, are you, are you a prostitute? Yes. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't agree to this. I thought, I didn't know you were, I thought we were just having fun. Listen. John. My, my name's John. Seriously? Listen, John, you seem like a real nice guy, and you, you dress well, you have a real nice place. What do you say? You spread the wealth around a little to those less fortunate. Jeez, this is my parents' place, I told you. This is my parents' room. 
I spent all my money at the bar last night! Yeah, I don't really remember that at all. Yeah, I told you. Remember? I was gonna get my own place when I turned 18. When you turn 18? How old are you? How the hell did you get in the bar? You don't cart at that place, man. Okay. Well, I am just gonna go. <laughs> seem like a real nice kid. If you ever happen to have, oh, say, $300, you know where to find me. Give me a call. Oh, and don't worry about the whole me being a prostitute thing. You've got nothing to worry about. Very lovely home. Hey, you guys. You guys remember when uh, I got that hot chick to come over here last night? I was on making out with her for like 20 minutes. Oh, Ronnie, that was me who made out with that hot chick. You who went big on the slot machines over there, and then used all the money on the Slovakian girls to get them drunk. And then they all ended up being lesbians and the other. No, no, you guys are retarded. I made out with that hot chick, and Gil, you're the one who got those Slovak girls drunk. Well, where was I? I don't know, man, I thought you'd left. I mean... You're still wearing the same clothes as yesterday. Oh, no man. If anything, I didn't leave because I woke up here in the bathroom 20 minutes ago. Huh. Well, those Slovak chicks were pretty hot, eh guys? Yeah. yeah. Probably could've used that money on the Star Trek mention, eh guys? Yeah. yeah. Whatever, man. What's in the past is in the past. At least you got to talk to some fine ladies, even if they were lesbians. Yeah, man, totally. I mean, if I were a hot chick, I would completely be a hot chick cock to use dyke. I would get so wasted and bang so many hot chicks. <sighs> Haha, <laughs> hey! Speaking of whores... <laughs> ah! You guys can all go to hell. Whoa, 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 it's not like they force you into anything immoral. Where's our money, ho? Didn't get it. What do you didn't get it? Where have you been? Having sex with 17-year-olds at their parents' house. Doesn't sound too bad. Hmm, for sure. I just don't know how we're going to go to the convention now. Maybe where one woman fails, two men can succeed. Ow! Why? Ronnie? I can do that. We're gonna have to get this money ourselves now, aren't we? Looks like it. No, that's the worst idea yet. It's way better than your stupid wishing well idea. That was a sound concept. Yeah, and it sounded like shit. You're really not being very constructive with your criticisms right now. Well, maybe I'd be more constructive with my criticisms if your ideas didn't blow so hard. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at these sorry son of a bitches. Oh my god. Oh. Gil, what, what am I smelling? What is that? Oh, I, I believe that's the smell of failure. 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 It was failure. It must have been the hearty musk of our success throwing me off. What the hell is this? Where'd you guys even get that money? We earned it, bitches. Ronnie? You've never earned a thing in your life. Now that's not true. Ronald, you, sir, have earned my respect. Now seriously though, what did you do? My friends, my friends, always thinking so small. 
never grasping the full potential of this escort game. It takes dignity, it takes class. It takes six hours at Shady Homes. Those <laughs> old bitches are loaded! Ha <laughs> <laughs> clink! You guys can't be serious. Oh, not only can we be serious, we are can being serious. Each one of those silver-haired foxes shelled out a pretty penny for one final clam bake. You have no idea how loaded those old bastards are, too. One guy gave me 300 bucks for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what? Dude, you slept with an old guy? Shit, yeah. Yeah, so how much did you guys get? Like almost 4,000. <laughs> Holy crap! That's, That's what, what she said. said. That means we can totally go to the convention now. That's awesome. Ooh. Ah, right? Yeah. Um. This is awkward. Gil and I were talking, and uh, now that we're fancy men, I don't think we really need to go to some geekathon to get ourselves laid. As it turns out, women love money. Who knew? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, sorry, one more time. Now, if your life was over, would you go out alone? Nobody ever comes over. You're just left with God in nose. So, how much did you get for the TV at the pawn shop? Yeah, it turns out they didn't really want the TV. I, uh, I sort of broke it on the way there. But I was able to uh, sell a pair of underpants on Craigslist. Oh, no shit. I never would have thought of that. Yeah, that's what makes me awesome. Hey, hey. Uh, what the hell are you two doing here? Oh, uh, we spent all our money and now we're bored. Hey, you know your TV's broken? Yes. From the bar the other day? The one you were too much of a milk to talk to? And she's going out with that dude from the other day! Gil, come on, let's go check this out. Oh, guys, no, no, no! Uh, excuse me, hi! Hi! Hi, um, you probably don't remember us. Uh, we were hanging out with, uh, with that fella right there who you were uh, making the eyes at at the bar the other day, but. Uh, Didn't have the balls to talk to you. <laughs> right, uh, the balls. And uh, now you're, um, you're seeing this gentleman? I have a lot in common. He came up to me, he started talking to me about Star Trek, <laughs> and uh, we just really clicked. And besides, we can resist a man in uniform. Come on! Uh, terrific. We'll see you later. Enjoy the convention. <sighs> so, you must take your life, huh? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out that way But then again I wouldn't want to be your friend If all I had was my programs I just lay down and die Like that. Boom. Zap. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you again. There we go. F you, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs>